days, what are you doing? Were you expecting me? Well, after I took a look at those blueprints that you sent me last night, I wasn't sure when our next meeting would be. Yeah, I worked really hard on those. Did you like them? Oh, I enjoyed them all right. Um, but I was wondering if we could ever get together face-to-face -to -face sometime so I could take a look at them firsthand. Sounds really great. What do you have in mind? <laughs> well, you could always uh, run by my apartment after work sometime whenever you're free, if you'd like. Oh yeah, good idea. Except this time, make sure your wife doesn't come home early. I'm not hiding out in that tiny ass closet again. Oh. Okay, Louise, that'll be all. <laughs> um, thank you for coming in. Let me know if you need anything else. Oh, I will. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> that was obviously a terrible example of male and female relationships in the workplace. I'm Nicole Fouth, and I'm going to be talking to you about appropriate male-female relationships and workplace equality. So there are several aspects in the business world that are vital to building appropriate relationships and maintaining equality in the workplace. These include overcoming stereotypes and fair treatment. In order to defeat a stereotype, you must first know that it exists. According to our source we were given, a stereotype of U.S. women, or arising primarily from U.S. television shows and movies, is that they are aggressive, glamorous, and promiscuous. Such a stereotype might induce really unfamiliar and unwanted behavior from foreign associates who don't know how actual businesswomen act. Um, in Bodhi Agnes's essay, um, The Stereotypes and Etiquette of International Business Life, he lists some national stereotypes that have become commonly accepted, such as French people never bathe, Germans drink beer all the time, all Swedish women are really tall and blonde, um, and all Americans carry rifles. I don't carry a rifle, I mean, I only have a 22 at home. No, just um, but stereotypes are harmful to successful business relationships because they can produce some awkward interactions and make people feel really uncomfortable when you don't mean to. That's why it's important to recognize these stereotypes and overcome them so that you can establish an acceptable and functioning relationship in every culture. Another feature that's important to both male-female relationships and workplace equality is treatment. Um, another statistic our source gives is that although 60% of U.S. women of employment age work, they don't receive equal pay and responsibility. People may think this is true throughout the world, but it's not such as in Scandinavian countries, um, men and women are treated relatively equal. For example, 70% of women in Iceland have jobs, and in Finland, 38% of parliament positions are held by women. When you compare this to the statistic from the Women's Campaign Fund in the US, they say that only 17% of women um, hold seats in Congress. It's kind of a big di difference. So fair treatment means equal pay and equal respectability but fair may have different meanings in other cultures. That's why it's important, important to recognize these and to act accordingly wherever you are. Um, furthermore, relationships depend on treatment also. So according to our source, in Mexico, male supervisors customarily kiss their female secretaries on the cheek or embrace them. In cultures such as ours, that may seem really forward and sexist even, and in some Indian cultures, that could be considered improper. <coughs> um, that's why, in order to effectively maintain <coughs> proper distance and relationship in the workplace, people must be aware of how they're acting in regard to the culture they're immersed in. Um, the mindset in a business setting must be equality towards all, regardless of gender or unique social customs. In conclusion, intercultural business practices employ overcoming stereotypes like I talked about, and fair treatment, as I also mentioned. Without such practices in use, you could easily offend someone you don't mean to. As you obviously saw by my demonstration, really awkward situations. So that's it. I'm Nicole, thanks for your time.